Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm doing an outdoors video and today is my August favorites and I'm so sorry that it's so late into the month already, but I did not mean for this to happen. I've just been so busy with homework and schoolwork, which is actually the same thing, but I've been so busy that I haven't had time, so I apologize for that, so let's get started. Okay, so the first product is just my Revlon Color Stay a liquid foundation and I am in love with this because it is so light and gentle and it perfectly fits my skin color that's probably one of the greatest things about this is that to find your skin color it's not very hard because they have such a great variety that it's not very hard to find it I also really enjoy this product because as I said it's so light and you don't even need pressed powder on top to make it like completely perfect and I don't even use it on all of my face. I just use it on kind of my the red spots that I have because I have redness right here, a little bit right here, and some right here. Um, I wouldn't really count on this product to cover up like pimples because you know they will still bulge out if they're big and like you can still tell if you have them. But such as covering up redness, I really recommend this. So once again, this is just the Revlon Color Stay 24 hours and it actually does stay on all day long. I mean, unless you like sweat it through or you know get wet. I mean, but other than that, it does stay on all day long, which is just amazing. The next product on my August favorites is just my Ulta Brilliant Color Lip Gloss, and I absolutely love it. As you can see, I'm wearing it. I love it because it gives me a perfectly nice glossy shine that I just love, and I just adore the way it smells. I mean, it smells really cute, and what's better than a lip gloss that smells better? Nothing. Just kidding, lots of things are better. But <laughs> I really enjoy this lip gloss, and I did not purchase it. I got it as a free gift when I ordered my John Frito Flyaway Tamers. But I just absolutely enjoy this lipstick. I'm not really a type of person to wear color. So, you know, I think this color is perfectly natural, but a little bit tinted, just a little bit, not a lot. Because, as you can see, my lips are still like pinkish the way they are. So I really enjoyed this product and I used it a lot in the month of August. I still use it a lot during this month, especially for school when I just, you know, need kind of something to give my lips a little shine. This next product is as well another lip product and this is just the Revlon Color Stay Overtime Lip Color. It says Rouge à Lèvres. I don't, I think it's French, but I don't really know how to pronounce it. And all I basically use is just the clear color because to me, as I said before, the color is just a bit too strong and it actually is really strong. And one of the bad things is that if you put it on and you don't like it, it's pretty hard to get on, like it will still stain your lips. But uh, yes, I really like this color because I like the clear because it gives a really good like last top coat that will make it really, really shiny that I just love. And this is actually pretty strong so it does stay on all day. I mean, you have to, you know, know be really if you want to take it off after you put it on you have to scrub a little bit harder because this does stay on pretty strongly which is a good thing but yet a bad thing so as I said if you put the color on and then you put the gloss on it will be hard to get off if you don't like it but my warning to you is that this is a pretty strong color so unless you like strong colors I recommend it to you but if not stick to the clear just like me so what I basically do is just use my Ulta Brilliant Color Lip Gloss and then just apply the Revlon Color Stay. Now this one is, I did buy it myself, I think I bought it at Walgreens, but yes, I really enjoy it because it gives a really perfect top. So my last few products are just some nail products and the first product is just the Stanley Henson Hard As Nail Extreme Wear in the color 485 Golden Eye. And I really like it because for my ring finger I always like to do something different. So this one looks really, really pretty, and I actually, my friends thought that I got my nails done when I didn't. All I did for my ring finger was just use this color, and I think it's super pretty, and it's not even that expensive if you go to Walgreens or Walmart or Target or wherever you get your nail polish. It is super cheap, no less than $5, so I thought that was a great pricing, especially for a good quality nail polish. And the best part is that you don't even have to put on a lot of uh, coats on it. I only use about one or two. I mean, I usually use one, but you know, you can use two as well. Now, it is this next one is just the same one, just in a different color. And it is just 220 Celeb City. It's also the same one as the gold one. It just has, you know, different color. And like I said, it's not even like, uh, you don't even have to put it, a lot of coats on it. You can just put like one or two and you'll be done. And then, yeah. So I really enjoyed these two colors. I use them a lot throughout the month and I still do except right now I'm just using one that I got from Forever 21. And my last product is just the OPI Top Coat and I love it so much especially because it's so light. So usually when I have at least like 
two coats of nail polish, I can just apply it and it will not like smudge away the color, which is just absolutely fabulous. I love it a lot. I've been using it a lot ever since I saw it at the store and I've been just enjoying it so much because then when I take a shower, then you know, the color does not chip. So I really love that. I would really recommend you guys get this because this top coat is really good. So once again, this is the OPI top coat and you know, it's clear. And the brush is pretty big, so you know, it doesn't really uh, require for you to put the brush back in very many times. So I really enjoyed that. Now to wrap up my favorites, I'm just gonna be telling you my two favorite songs. The first one is just uh, There Will Come A Time by Noah and the Whale. Um, I really like it just because, you know, it kind of puts me in a good mood and I just love it. And then the next song is just Heartbreaker featuring Love Fox by Steve Aoki. Lately I've been used, listening a lot to Steve Aoki and I really like the song just because it's kind of more of a, you know, dancing song that, you know, I really like a lot of dancing kind of club music. And so There Will Come A Time is actually the song I'm playing in this video. So if you like this song, you know, look it up on iTunes and purchase it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my favorites of the month and I'm so sorry it was late. But thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!